Welcome to a flying dog tutorial. In this video, I will give you a quick introduction to the new version by using text and 3D layers. This version comes with tons of new features. It is the biggest update so far. For example, there are special layer types for text, 3D, pose, and more. The brush tool can be used in combination of these layers. The type of image layers can now be changed, for example, to use them in background replacement, style, or control net operation. The layer menu now offers upscalers, background removal, and a vectorizer. Most of these features are only available for the Gyre server. Watch the RunPod tutorial for a quick setup in the cloud. Let's add a text layer and delete the empty layer which is not in use. I type grapes in uppercase, select a font and size to make it bigger. Now I cover the whole image with the generation window and switch to image to image tab. I am using the universal modifier to get better quality. If you have enough GPU memory, you can increase the quality furthermore by choosing a higher resolution and a custom model. Check the FAQ to the Gyre server how to install custom models. As prompt I try now, grapes text. But the results are not looking very good and not readable. I abort this now. In such a case, there is a great little trick which solves that problem. Just add sharp font face to the prompt. Let's try it again. It is much better now. Cool. I like this one. Now I want to add more grapes. With in-painting only, it is difficult to get the expected result quite often. But now there are special layers that control the in-painting process. Let's add a 3D layer. Search for grapes, and I am using the first result here. At the top, there are layer tools for position, resize, and rotate. Now I will use the in-painting brush to define the area. Add a prompt and use in-painting. 